Hello, this is the CR Team Man here. Today I'm going to be playing Cosmic Chasm, the arcade version, on MAME OS X. This was an arcade port, yes, I say that for a reason, because the original Cosmic Chasm was released on the Vectrex in 1982, so it was a Vectrex game first, and arcade game second. That's why it says copyright GCE and Cinematronics 1983, because Cinematronics ported uh, the Vectrex game to the arcade. Now, it does look uh, completely different because the Vectrex version was, um, it was you know, black and white, only you had like a blue and red overlay. Well, this one's in full color vector graphics, which is really cool. The, the ship looks pretty different, and some of the gameplay rules are slightly different. Like at the end, um, you don't just drop a bomb at the core, you actually shoot the core into pieces. And for, and for getting through the doors, uh, getting through the doors, um, what's it called? Whoa. Uh, let's mute that. Getting through the doors, you just shoot through them instead of using, like, a, a drill. So, it's, it's still a pretty good game. The sounds are completely different, too. Uh, I, I forgot what sound chip it used. So, yeah, I think the arcade machine was pretty rare. Uh, I'm not sure how rare it was back then, but it's definitely rare now. So, let's get started. Insert a coin. Oh, oops. Alright, let's try that again. Is it a coin? Now, this game is pretty hard to play with a keyboard. You have a shield, thrust, shooting, and movement. You can't move when the shield is on. You can't touch anything. Come on, get it! This game is pretty cool. Alright, this, this, dang it! The center core thing keeps growing until you can't even get through it. See how it's different from the Vectex version? And you can't shoot when you have the shield on, but you can move. Okay, I'm at the core. Now this part is extremely hard. Yeah! Okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. You gotta get the hell out of here. Before this freaking thing explodes. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> this game is really fun. I have actually not that good at this. Okay, so since I lost when the place was exploding, uh, it just takes you to the second level. But in the Vectrex version, it doesn't. Now I'm starting down there, and I have to get to the core. Hmm. You want to find the shortest way. Sometimes the doors glitch and don't look like they're open. Dang it. Um. Oh, didn't blow it up all the way. Yeah, you can't touch anything in this game. Uh, the way you actually get type in your initials is pretty cool. You like spin around and some light goes around the letters. But overall, this is a really cool game. I'm not sure how successful it was in the arcade, but I know the Vectrex version was pretty successful. And it's really cool how this was like one of the first games to be ported from a console to the arcade. It's usually the opposite. CRT for the CRT man. Um, that's not my high score. Let me actually show you my high score. It is 29,100 and I got to level 2. That was on March 24, 2013. So yeah, there you have it. 
awesome game, so check it out. Check out the arcade version. Definitely check out the Vectrex version. So, yeah, thanks for watching.